Good morning, everyone. It's Francis. 10:06 a.m. Monday, September 5th, Labor Day. I'm looking at the JPL diagrams for uh, YU55 and Comet London. Today, Two thousand five Y U fifty five. Let's get this right. Let's check it out. See if you can see it. What do you see? Okay. I can draw it a little bit higher. That's the asteroid. Today it is point seven one AU from Earth. I save all the paper. It's art. We'll get a whiteboard soon. Comet Ellenin. C forward slash 2010 X1. Comet Ellenin. Ellenin. The emphasis is here, a Lenin. Is zero point eight five five AU from Earth. video I made from pictures taken September 2nd show a nucleus. I think uh, that's all getting hashed out now as we speak, but I saw a nucleus using the filters, different filters, and we're going to let everybody else hash it out and they'll come back and probably say that the nucleus is still intact. So 0.855 AU away from Earth is where, it's, where look at that, E-Earth. And uh, on its way, on course, as far as I know, since September 2nd. I haven't taken any new images since se September 2nd. I did see that there are some new images since then. So, um, let's look at... The sun, okay, what we're looking at. So we've got Mercury, Venus, Mars, Moon, 
two, three, earth, one, two, three, earth is one, two, three, earth is over here, and then Mars is out over here if we had four. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Okay, that's Tom Allen in. Tom Allen in right now, it's right here. On its way this way. I'm coming in. Coming in. Earth is going that way. Right now, here's Earth, here's Com Elenin. Here's Earth. It was 0.885 AU away. Okay. September 6th. Let me go back. Same thing. It's at Venus and not Mercury. See, this is where it goes to Mars. Come on, let's get it right. One, two. These pens stink. No good. This is the old path of YU fifty five. Right now, YU fifty five is over here. As we move forward to the September 11th date. See, there really isn't. This Comet Elenin, this dot's moving faster. Picked up speed. It's near perihelion, but it doesn't reach it until the 11th, which is, gonna, which is five days later. So there's perihelion. If this isn't drawn exactly right, we're just going to tell you. This is perihelion, so it's moving. Comet Elenin is moving toward perihelion. Somewhere in between here and here, Come Ellen and catches up to the moving YU-55, because YU-55 is also moving. We're all moving in the same direction. Catches up to YU-55, and then they will have a little alignment. That is the closest that these two objects will come. And it's still quite a, it's the distance from Mercury to Venus apart. So that's a long way. And then Earth is moving along. And Earth will, you know, we have it here. Let's see, these are these kind of this these points here need to to match up correctly. Uh, let's go ahead and see. And the closest approach. Okay, there it is. Oh, oh, the closest approach, the close approach is point oh oh two three on November 9th. There's an eighth, this is a close approach with the moon and the earth. So the eight and nine is a close approach for YU55. I don't know why I'm putting parentheses around it. Just, I really can't tell you. Let's go back to this and, and move this forward. The comment on in, I'm going to move forward. Okay, there. Two, four, point two three seven, point two three five, point two three four, point two three five. 
So there's two days that they're showing. A point two three four October sixteenth and October seventeenth. October sixteenth, October seventeenth. So before it, so it is. We're before it. October sixteen and seventeen they're showing point two zero point two three four AU. Now, of course we all know that common element is going to stop, so we we'll have to look at, maybe on the 16th it started at, I don't even know, 0.23, you know, you know, the difference, the difference between 0.2, I don't 